There was a whole group of Boy Scouts coming up the trail behind us. I think they're already, they're in there. They're already in here? Yeah. Very cool. I was going to tell you, in the tailor shop, they're playing Spanish Monty. Okay. And they're having a hoop with it. So all right, we'll go yeah. check out the Spanish Monty. We're, we're fleecing all the visitors. Because there's only four suits. Oh, true. Um, Kit Carson, and he's down at Fort Garland, this is uh, like this after the Civil War. Uh, but he was, of course, a trapper and a hunter, and he lived here. So he was angry because um, there were people selling whiskey on the post. And he said, who authorized this? Sir, you did. He could sign his name, but he wasn't fully yeah. literate. So he, didn't know so he, he signed an order suggesting yeah. it was okay to sell whiskey on the post, which was against government regulations. Okay, so... You're, everybody's down. This is who's playing Spanish Monty, and it's swords. So this person up here wins, and that money goes into the pile. Well, you just got your card. I know. I put mine right here. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. They've only threatened to kill you three times. No, no, no. I don't threaten. <laughs> I advise. Uh, so, this is a, a, a game very popular here on the frontier. Oh, we, we know it's popular on the Santa Fe Trail. It's called Spanish Monty, and you can, you've got some betting pieces down there. So here's what we do. We've got a deck of cards that has suits you're not used to, swords, cups, cudgels, and coins. Uh, by the way, if you want to get a deck of these, almost any Mexican grocery store or bodega will have them. So two cards come off the bottom of the deck, perfectly legal, and I put them in what is called the bottom layout. This one is coins and cudgels, and, they're, and this is a face card and a, and a horse card, as it just so happens. The cudgels are closed. And then off the top, we have swords. It's a new deck, so they're a little sticky still. Swords and cudgels. So there's a cudgel here, a coin, a sword, and a cudgel. So what you do is, if you think it's going to, the next card on the bottom of this deck is what you're betting on. If you think it's going to be a cudgel or a, co a sword, you put your money there. If you think it's going to be a coin or a cudgel, you put your money there. If you think it's going to be a cup, which is not shown here, you don't bet. Because if you put your money down, you're betting, and somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose. So if you think it's a cup, you want to stay out of it. But if you think it's a, a, a coin or a cudgel, you put your money here. A cudgel or a sword, you put your money here. So go ahead and bet. I turn it over, and it's a cudgel. You win. So you've got the one that you bet and another one too. Off the bottom of the deck, this is called Spanish Monty. We have a sword and, and a coin. Come on in. You Come can't learn from out there. And I can't get your money from out there. Two off the top. A cudgel and a cudgel. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. Since I think I want you to bet here, I'm going to give two to one odds. You put up one and you win, you get yours back and two of mine. Okay? It's So I'm giving odds on the cudgels only up here, not down here. Down here is straight up. Okay, hold on for a minute. We've got a whole bunch of new people. <clears throat> this is a Spanish or Mexican style deck. It has Four, four suits, just like we're used to, except they're the uh, swords, which is this one, or uh, swords, coins, cups, and cudgels. Or this is my last cup. So they're in different denominations. Yes, yeah, so that's a cup. That's a cup. And we've taken out the eight, nines, and tens. So it's a different number deck than what you're used to playing. But we're not betting on numbers anyway. So. Anyway, you put two, uh, two cards up the top from the bottom, which is the way it's dealt with in this. Two cards from the top. Now you're going to bet whether or not there's going to be a sword or a coin or a cudgel or a cudgel. You can't bet. There's other ways of betting, but those are the basic ones. So, put your money down. Right, put your money next to what you think is going to happen. And by the way, it only goes this way. You cannot yeah, bet this way. So this is a layout, this is a layout. And you don't have to bet, or you could do a side bet, but we'll do that the next hand. So let's go ahead and, and go ahead and put your money down. You, you've got coins there in front of you, go ahead and put them where you think There's they're going. There. Oh, we got a big bet around. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh, look at you, all right then. Where are you going now? I, I don't know that, what you're the, doing. The, the, the bottom one? one? Okay. All right, got to remember how many you put down. I turn it over, and it's a cup. There's no cups down here, and I thank you for your money. 
Are there any questions? <laughs> so that's an easy way to go broke then. So it's basically uh, Not for me. <laughs> well, for the adversary. Numerically speaking, I suppose you're right. But this is not about cheating. This is just a, this is a game of chance. Spain went to Mexico. Very popular in the mountains. It was uh, in lots of journals, including people that came through here. And uh, these are the, the type of cards that they would have played with. You could play with regular cards, too. If you want a deck of these, you can get them at a Mexican grocery store or bodega. Uh, they have them in the trade room uh, in the back as well. Um, but it's a lot of fun, and these are colorful and different suits than what you're used to. And there's other games you can play with them as well. Okay, let's talk about side bets. I'm going to side have a side bet with my own. So again, two off the bottom. So here's a cudgel, and here's a coin. Two off the top, here's a coin, and here's a sword. So there's one that's missing. What's missing? The cup is missing, exactly. So I'll tell you what, I say the next one is going to be a cup. Who wants a part of that bet? If you want a part of that bet, you got to put your money here. No, no, don't do that. Come up, bring it up here. Because if you get mixed up, I'll just take your money. So bring it up here and put it where you want to put it. A, a, what did I say? A cup. Okay? Now, so that's the side bet. That's between me and her. Who else wants to bet on what's here? Good. Good. Up here? Okay. Everybody in? Come on. You got to do it. All right. Let's see what it is. Well, first, it's not a cup. So you get those two. That's your money. Okay. It's a sword. This person wins, but I just take this one. And who is betting up here? Is that you? Oh, there's somebody over here, too. So that's your two. That's your two. And this, again, goes in the burn pile. Okay? See, this deck is slowly getting thinner. Every time he deals, he bent burns the bottom card. Right. So, so how many? What's what's the lowest number of cards I can have and still play this game? Five is right. Four cards to show and one to one to show, You know, one to turn over. That's called the gate card. When I turn my hand over, it's called the gate. So, because you're better, you're called punters. Because I have the money, I'm called the banker. And when I run out of money, the deal passes to my left. And when he runs out of money, it passes to his left. Okay, anybody want to try the deal? Are we having or Two off the bottom. What is your actual question? Cudgels and coins. Two off the top. Cudgels again and swords. So, what are you reckoning? Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, you have to figure out which one you're doing now. Now that make make sure it's a distinct a distinct you are betting up here or down there. Uh, up here? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Now it's clear what you're doing. Very well, very well. All in. It's a sword. So this person wins. And there are two there. And this person loses. In the burn pile, these go back in the deck. So whoever wins, come get your money. <laughs> All right. Y'all are a scout troop? There's multiple scout troops. Very nice. Is, it, is this two, one or more right here? How many troops, how many troops do we have showing here? I'm not in 24. Yeah, 24. Who's, on, who's not in 24? I'm the scout master of 149, but none of my scouts are in here. Well, I have had the privilege of being a scout master or assistant scout master in Texas, Colorado, Virginia, France, and Hawaii. Yeah, troop 112 in Paris, France. So there, is that one or two? That's one. Another one off the bottom. Off the top. 
cups. And one more. Oh, look at that. They're all there. Coins, swords, cups, and cups. That's the first time that's happened. Yeah. So who wants to bet on this? Now, let's do a side bet. How about you and I? Yeah. Um, I what, say it's going to be a, a cup. Okay, you say it's a cup, so we're going to do that over here. Okay. Actually, yeah. that kind of works because there's a cup. So by putting it there, you're saying it is a, it's going to be a cup. Right. So let's have a side bet. Let's say it's going to be a face card. Okay. So okay. I'm saying it's going to be a face card. You, you want to? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, instead. So he's by moving well, his money. Yeah, no, okay. No, now he's betting here against the cup, and he's betting here against uh, a face card. I say it's going to be a face card. You're saying it's not. Right. And it's not a face card. That's your money. But you also win here because the cudgel and the cudgel match. So remember I was saying you can't make money. It was, you can't. You just have to be very judicious in what you do. Come on in. Okay, anybody have any questions? So what kind of cards are these? I'm never these are what they call Spanish cards or cartas españolas. The truth is, you can find cards very much like these in both Italy and in the Czech Republic. Um, and you can buy these in Mexican grocery stores or bodegas, and they even sell them in the uh, bookstore behind here. Okay. You need water or coffee or anything? Water would be great. Okay. Uh, the tailor room. Oh, um, go in the blacksmith shop and hang a left. And that's where the visitors get fleeced? Yep. Ex well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The card off the bottom is going to match the suit of one of these two groups. So in this case, there's coins and cups, or cups and swords. So I'm going to put your bet down. All in, all in. Okay. Any other bets? Hold on one second. Which one do you want? Uh, one sec. Uh, All in, baby. All in. Actually, no. I'm going. I'm going. No, no, no. I use it. Okay. All in, baby. Change card? It's what? Oh, that's a coin. It's a, that's a club. So, there are no cudgels on the thing, on the deck, so it's all mine. Okay. Okay.